you guys. Um, really quick public service announcement with regards to Twin Flames as I clean up these cards. Um, someone out there, or a few of you need to know, that oftentimes when a... Okay, so a lot of you know that sometimes Twin Flames... Sorry, there's a loud noise. Um, sometimes when Twin Flames end up in karmic situations with a third party, especially like a romantic situation. The message that I'm receiving is that the karmic journey does not start when they choose the karmic over their twin flame. The karmic journey starts when they do not choose the twin flame journey. Okay? Somebody needs to know that. And, and once said twin does not choose the... <laughs> Damn, I feel like somebody is like revving their engine and like ready to come back into um, a twin flame union. Anyways, just because of that, um, the noise. Okay, but continuing on, um, the car noise, if you guys can hear that. Continuing on, um, there is a message for somebody with regards to, um, okay, the message that I'm receiving is that somebody feels like their twin chose somebody else over them and this is creating an insecurity within that within you if this if this message is for you which is um making the twin flame separation um last longer than it needs to last okay that is the message that i'm receiving because it when they did not choose the twin flame journey for whatever reason and and they chose somebody else could be romantic it doesn't need to be romantic um, when they chose a different journey so to speak a different trajectory a different path um, that's when I don't know whatever the fuck happened happened um, but that made you that triggered somebody your somebody's abandonment issues and um, also some self-esteem issues that then put you on a separate journey, okay, over here, and somehow the two of you are trying to meet back over here, okay, but somebody needs to get over that abandonment or that insecurity, okay, so, but very, very important, the twin flame journey does not, did not begin when they chose a third party, it's when they did not choose you for whatever reason, and it could be, you know, because they chose work, or they chose, I don't know, whatever they chose, okay, let's read some energy, um, I was literally just getting ready to do some more work up in my attic and that message came through so I just felt like I had to, I had to, I had to do it, alright? Um, so the planet heals when you create joy. I don't know, I'm just going to pull this card, alright? But let's, uh, uh, the cycle is now ending for a new cycle to begin. Yeah, do not dirty your energy field with low vibrational energy. That's what the karmic wants, okay? Um, great messages. And uh, meditate, do not retali retaliate, stay high vibrational. Okay. Another great message. These cards are just kind of like falling out, sort of. I don't know, I kind of shuffled them weird. All that was given is being returned. All that was taken is being returned. Somebody is, is um, taking their power back. From a situation okay yeah wow uh eight of cups here um somebody's coming out of a karmic fog what else spirit you see this dude here he's like i don't know if you guys can see the cards but like this dude he's like walking away he's like i've had enough so that's what somebody's doing what else spirit any other messages yeah there was a yeah page of cups in the reverse position um some sort of mass delusion i'm hearing that was a self, or it was a sabotaging this this relationship, this twin flame relationship. But it also just uh, led to some sort of a betrayal. Um, yeah, what else? Spirit. It made it very difficult for somebody's um, twin flame to be able to come in. Uh, they were just keeping them in a cycle. Mm -hmm. But they are coming out of this prison of sorts. They realized how much more difficult they made the situation. 
I feel like this is also part of the Twin Flame journey where, like, um, there are a lot of people who, um, oh, do you guys like my lap, or my Labradorite necklace, too? I feel like Sunday needs some lapis lazuli, by the way. I have that in my Etsy shop. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. But I have my Labradorite. I have one, one more of these left in my Etsy shop. Um, and, um, a really quick shameless self-promotion, um, most of the crystals in my Etsy shop I dug up, cleaned myself, did all the lapidary work, and did all the metal work as well. So if you would like to support this channel, it'd be amazing if you guys were to, you know, check out all my crystal goodies and, you know, maybe, um, order something for yourself, some healing supports. Okay. Alright, I digress. Okay. Um, so somebody is coming out of the karmic fog. Mm -hmm. I feel like whatever situation they were in, it, it just made it very difficult for them to be able to be social. Somebody was obsessed. Somebody was obsessed with working. It's like somebody was obsessed with working this person. It could have even been like a work colleague, okay? Could have been the third party. But um, the other message that I'm receiving is... Um, shit, I lost it. Um, I'll pull more cards and it will come back. I'm sure of it. Um, oh god, obsessed with working, made them like exiled, wow, they, I'm like seeing somebody like literally just being like cornered, that's not cool, okay, king of swords, I feel like um, somebody, I feel like this person, yeah, is a divine channel. Somebody needs some lapis lazuli. You or your person, probably both of you are divine channels, okay? Um, and uh, I'm also hearing that somebody was not able to, like, live authentically, but they were kept so busy that it, it made it very difficult for them to be able to, to, um, to like, stop and see and evaluate. But I feel like they are, um, they are, whoever your person is, they are, or if this is you, um, they are starting to evaluate the situation a little bit more. They're, they're having time or they're making time to kind of like step back and observe the situation from a third party point of view. And I'm um, kind of putting all, I'm seeing somebody putting a puzzle together and putting all the puzzle pieces together and understanding um, kind of where all the chaos started and, um, and uh, how they were accountable for the separation. And, um, Oh, this is the message that I, I wanted to say. A lot of times this is, uh, this is, to me it sounds like this is kind of like that twin flame journey that never gets, that um, the separation is generally caused by somebody having a lack of faith in the twin flame journey or even a lack of faith within themselves to have a healthy relationship dynamic. I feel like somebody was not used to having a healthy relationship dynamic. Um, and so they didn't have faith in themselves. So it's, it's interesting because it's like, because of their lack of faith for whatever reason, they did not choose you, who I'm hearing that they were very in love with, very much. Wow, like I heard like madly in love with. And that created the separation. And then it's like the two had to heal the faith in themselves together and then they have to and then they will come back together okay um so it's just just um don't be insecure is the message that i'm receiving yeah somebody was just trying to get away with some shit i have the seven of swords here i also have the knight of pentacles in the reverse position i feel like there's two messages i'm receiving with the knight of pentacles in the reverse position one is that um when this i'm hearing divine masculine came in um it could be divine masculine divine feminine but i'm, I'm just i'm hearing divine masculine but again, it, it could be a divine feminine as well, okay? Um, it came in and it was just, they were very impatient. And um, not impatient like in a bad way, but just kind of like, like seal the deal because of their insecurity is what I'm hearing, okay? And um, they also, what am, what am I hearing? But then also with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse position, I'm also hearing that th these are divine beings like you and your twin are divine beings and you are blessed and you have blessings surrounding you and this these karmics who were were sent in basically to do a job you know what i mean um did not release though um they sometimes karmics can just be assholes like karmics can be good because they are meant to to be to teach us a lesson so to speak a karmic lesson that we are we're not learning by ourselves you know what i mean like so 
So spirit, the universe sends in people to help us to be able to learn that lesson, right? Okay, but some karmics can just be like dickheads. I don't know what else to say, but like they just take it there. And that's 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 when, um, you know, the universe steps in and then that's when, you know, bad shit happens, whatever. But um, they, they uh, something about these karmics, uh, I'm hearing also their dark empaths, so they were just trying to, and psychic vampires, they were just trying to create some sort of like a negative like frequency around your person or you, you know, the roles can always be reversed, but around your person um, to create, um, to, to lower their frequency, to be able to create a sacral chakra attachment um, in order to, um, and to keep them to keep them near and in a cycle because this person is blessed to um, receive some of those blessings and some of that abundance, okay? But the thing is, is that spirit took away the abundance for this person, this counterpart, in order to um, to help them to, to, to get out because that was, in essence, um, making them less attractive to the karmics is what I'm hearing or to the, the uh, dark empath, okay? Um, yeah, we have somebody, I feel like whoever your person was, they may have been um, emotionally, I'm hearing emotionally unavailable, and I feel like the karmics or the dark empaths were um, emotionally manipulative, like I said, like a psychic vampire, what they'll generally do is they will be emotionally manipulative to um, create an attachment, a sacral chakra attachment, and carnelian is really good and with regards to helping heal sacral chakra attachments. Um, wearing orange is also really good as well. Um, or, you know, I don't know, having orange flowers around or eating oranges, carrots, things like that. Um, water also resonates with the sacral chakra, um, so taking bubble baths too. And I do have carnelian in my Epsom salt, or I'm sorry, I do have carnelian in my Etsy shop. Somebody needs to take an Epsom salt bath. I also have, um, I don't know if I have any left, but I will, um, I have some Epsom salt, uh, sacral chakra, um, like ritual kits too, like, uh, detoxifying, like it helps to cleanse out the sacral chakra, some little, uh, bath ritual kits. Also in my Etsy shop, um, and if I have, if I sold out of them, I will have some in there very soon, but check those out, okay? Um, all right, the chariot, yeah, divine movement forward, like spirits pulling, Spirit is pulling, I keep hearing Divine Masculine, again it could be a Divine Feminine, but I feel like for the majority of you this is a Divine Masculine, Spirit is pulling this person out of this situation. There's been a lot of lies and smear campaigns that was keeping them in a low frequency state, and it was just, it was keeping them in a fog, um, where they couldn't, I'm hearing, they couldn't uh, reach their divinity, or they couldn't speak to their divinity, their higher self, they weren't able to access their higher self. And you get lost in that that energy for too long, it, it really creates a fog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're awakening. Okay, this might be a long distance relationship as well, all right? Um, they're not sleeping. Whoever your person is, they're not sleeping. They're having nightmares, and um, they might even be having a lot of really great dreams about you, though, I'm also hearing, okay? Like, it's like, that's kind of how spirit is trying to like get them back into alignment, so to speak, all right? So the message I'm receiving for um, you is just, uh, uh, don't be insecure and, um, have faith in the universe, have faith in the process, um, be, remain emotionally grounded, emotionally stable, who you are. I feel like whoever you are, you are very, um, grounded, emotionally stable, you're very, like, capable, and, but it's like, whenever this person, it's almost like, I'm seeing, like, um, Superman, and, um, I'm hearing Malachite, somebody might need Malachite to help open up their heart chakra as well, okay, I do have that in my Etsy shop as well, but I was going to say Kryptonite, it's like, I'm seeing Superman and, like, Kryptonite, it's like, this person is, like, your Kryptonite, so just, you know, it, I, it, <laughs> So it's like you're you're always doing really, really well, but then all of a sudden it's like they step in or you think about them or something like that, and then it's like it 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 triggers something in somebody. It triggers something in, in you, if this message is for you, that um, makes you feel like very insecure again, and it kind of gets you out of whack. So the message that I'm receiving for you with regards to that is to, um, is to recognize this within yourself and practice... Um, like just not doing that. Don't let it have an effect on you like that, okay? Remain confident and secure. That's who you are, all right? And also remember that um, that this is a lesson for you. Um, 
in order to bring the, the twins together, okay? Yeah, you need to stay grounded, okay? Something about this person makes you feel ungrounded. Um, probably because you, um, I feel like you had a lot of feelings for this person and, and there's just a lot of confusion. So that's something that somebody needs to work on within themselves, all right? Um, Self-esteem. Um, yeah, King of Pentacles in the reverse position with the uh, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse position. This is somebody who was in, probably like in their household as well that was just keeping them incredibly ungrounded. I just saw the, um, the Ace of Swords, too. Um, so that is the truth. I think that this is, I'm actually just going to leave this message right here. I really hope that this helps. Um, let's pull something from the Rebel deck. Let's see what the Rebel deck needs to say to us. <laughs> Ancestors of the Highest White Light, please give me a message for my collective. With the rebel deck, please. Ancestors of the highest way of life. Ah, shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Forgive and let that shit go, all right? And our other card is, some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up, all right? <laughs> I am sending you guys lots of love. I hope everyone is doing so amazing. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And um, I think I have a few people that I still need to contact about personal readings. I will do that. I have not forgotten about you. Um, and if any of you would like a personal reading, um, feel free to text me 616-485-3479. Um, and we can set that up. I hope that everyone is doing really, really amazing. Um, thanks for being here. Until next time.